Madam Mary and Madam Daya, I'm Wang Yian and I'm from H20. Today we would like to present the case study of the company which is the Under Armour. I'm the group leader of the case study and my name is Wang Yian. And the group member is John Sopeng, Lawrence Kong, Lee Sing Yan, No Farahim, Yap Yun Fei, Yap Ying Xiu, and Yan Wan Yi. First of all, Under Armour Company was founded on 25th of September in 1996 and the CEO of Under Armour is Kevin Plank. And initially, Kevin Plank desires to produce a good quality t-shirt especially for the athletes. And until now, they are uh, focusing on designs for apparel, footwear and also accessories, especially for men, women and also children. Furthermore, for all vision statement of Under Armour Company is to empower athletes everywhere. And then for the revised vision statement of Under Armour Company is to enlarge and improve women market in international platform. Next, Under Armour all vision statement is to make all athletes better through patient design and the relentless pursuit of innovation. And then we came up with proposed mission statement of Under Armour Company to empower the athletes to drive better performance with strong of mentality and physically without any boundaries. Now I would like to present about the internal assessment of Under Armour. There are several strengths can be used effectively to achieve its objective, such as UA products are won by some of the largest US college football, European social teams, and megastar and many more. With the bold logo and advanced marketing strategy, it has enhanced the reputation and positioned the company well in making a healthy lifestyle trend. Apart from that, the vision of UA CEO Kevin Plant is to increase women market, the revenue, the revenue of footwear higher than apparel and the revenue for the international business is higher than USA revenue. However, there are also some weaknesses need to be improved by UA so that it can achieve its objective in a shorter period. One of the weaknesses of UA is footwear and accessory only account for 22% of total revenue. Besides, most of the customers from Latin America are served by distribution facilities in the USA and UA focuses more on men's wear and so. Now I would like to present the external assessment. The external assessment part includes the opportunity and trades. The opportunity there are have three factors which is growth of the international and domestic industry, promoted by e-commerce and social media, and increase in sport apparel in emerging market. Under Armour decided to expand their international and domestic industry by promoting their product using the social media and they decided to expand their production line to, to increase the sport apparel to emerge their market. Next is the trip in Under Armour. Trip of Under Armour include the total revenue of Nike and Adidas are more than Under Armour and the highest product substitution in the market and the Adidas is the stronger competitor to Under Armour okay, For the part, strength, weakness, opportunity, trick, matrix, matrix, uh, SWRT uh, The XO strategy, UA was targeting on female market by focusing on footwear product in order to achieve their Drive primary vision, which are increase the female market. The digital market become a trend after Alibaba occurred, and UA has been follow up their step by selling and distribute their product through online media platform. For strength street strategy, the impact of inflation increased the cost of mater raw material and resources, made UA net income increase in gradually decrease trend. Consumer reality is hard to maintain because. There are two large presets of industry trade for UN, which are Adidas and Nike. UN survives from this sport world by his record reputation and attractive logo. A witness and opportunity strategy, lack of financial investment of UN had limited their market expand to other countries, and this become one of the reasons low consumer. The female market more profitable by UN, more focusing on male markets. For witness and trade strategy, Increasing cost of raw material and resources in China had limit, had limit their expense market to China. Optimal price should be controlled by UA in order can compete with Nike and Adidas by price. I would like to present Boston Consulting Group Metric BCG. The table above shows that UA product with 
which was selling around the world in 2020. The main competitor for UA are Nike, Adidas and Puma. With that 3% sport industry, UA revenue has been limited due to the UA was a new brand compared with Nike, Adidas and Puma. The division market go red for apparel, footwear, accessory will 0.23, 0.21 and 0.25. US should concentrate their product in rather than footwear and accessory because it was a large market share position and highest revenue in their belonging product. So now we'll, I will present about the spam metrics. In the diagram, Under Armour falls into competitive quarter. So that to, they have to enhance their competitive advantage. To do so, they can improve and diversify products and do product development, reduce the transparency of access into market and increase their financial resources. Uh, so now I will present about the QSBM. QSBM is a strategy that compares two different strategies. So the first strategy we propose is improve the current products in the apparel product segment. The second strategy is investing in new product line. So the result we got is Under Armour should improve the current product in the apparel product segment. To do so, they have to invest in product development and market development. Now, I'm going to present the recommendation part. There are five recommendations for Under Armour. First of all, Under Armour should have a clear direction in order to identify the ways to achieve target. Changing the organization mission statement can give an understandable and transparent directions in which the company can adjust and fit all the particulars of the business. Besides, Under Armour can outstrip them and gain a larger segment of the market by creating not only a sense of collection but that is also a limited edition collection in order to increase the, their competitive advantage. By implementing this strategy, Under Armour can increase the demand of the consumer and a product that can they are able to fulfilling and satisfying the consumer needs and wants in the future. The next recommendation is form an innovation team by hiring experts and professionals. The purpose of this is to ensure under and more are able to meet all consumer needs, wants and goals of the current practice of under and more organization. Besides a creative and attractive marketing campaign should continue to be innovative by using the latest technology such as social media platform. This is an opportunity for other animals to achieve the vision and mission through the social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Lastly, other animals should expand its product line. Diversifying the product line are able to generate more profits and expand the market to meet more consumer needs and wants. Overall, the result shows that Under Armour should improve their current product which under the apparel product segment. So they have to improve market penetration, market development, and product development. Second, Under Armour has to improve their integration. Integration has two types, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal integration is the consolidation of firms that necessarily do the same thing. So vertical has two types, backward and forward. Backward is more towards to production and Life gets pretty hectic. Seems so little time. But I push myself and I get out there. I know I need this. Climbing. My heart racing. Something happens. I become more in tune with my breathing, the strength of my muscles, the fresh air in my lungs. My body wants to move, it wants to run. I need that time, I need that moment. It's my inner strength my secret weapon, my Under Armour.